All right, so we're going to do, uh, continue with our last presentation for this block. A presentation by Dr. Edouard Solars and uh, Alexandre Cavalcant, um, entitled Exploring the Potential of a Manipulative uh, the, weight, the Weighting Scale, Torque and Mathematical Ideas. <laughs> And, okay, uh, good morning for everybody. Uh, we, we made some connections with this project. I think we have two issues, different issues we, we would like to present. So, we start so, talking a little bit about models and stabilis. Those are the, in the arts field. But we, we actually, our project is connected to those models and stabilis that we are not we still not uh, in this project in schools. So we 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 explore more the weighting scale as a tool, uh, model the balance of mobiles and stabilis, and as a tool for teaching the teaching of equations. And so we will focus on mathematics. The use of weighting scale in a math classroom, we will show some classrooms what we can do in the classrooms and exploring a digital weighting scale, okay? Weighting, weighting, weighting scale. Weighting, weighting scale. <laughs> so these are our mobiles. Uh, this one is from Bruno Munari. Uh, this, this is where it is in the internet. So we can see lots of mobiles. Uh, those are structures based on the balance of the pieces. And uh, it has lots of things to do with arts and physics, okay? And here is from Stabile from Calder. Uh, Calder. Calder is the art school, at, at, at my knowledge, was the one that starts doing serious playful mobiles and stabilis. Eh? Um, <clears throat> we, we have here a Montreal sculpture of Calder. Oh, yeah? Yes, in the island, uh, uh, okay. Good. Uh -huh. big one. <laughs> I've seen his presentation in Barcelona. And here is, I think it's a Canadian one, Stabli. Huh? The difference is that the Stabli goes from the ground and the Mogli comes from the, 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 the seal. So it's like a stalagmite and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is myself. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I, I arrived here in August and I spent a sabbatical here. And I, we have two kids, uh, two, do two daughters of my friend, and we are playing with things that we buy from Dollarama. <laughs> so the, at the beginning we, we did a, 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 a mobile, but it was not working because it was tiny and the girls could not uh, uh, play with this. Then I decided to do this, and I did once more, one more for my Grand, grandson. Mm -hmm. And here is one, one model of the, the, the Mobley. Eh? And we, now I'm talking about exploring the Mobley in a scientific and mathematical way. So we can uh, put some questions for everybody here. What data we need to know to find out if the Mobley will be balanced. Okay? If you're not twist too much, what we need to know about this. Okay. And considering another one here, the stably, what we need to know now, if it will <laughs> be balanced or not, if we fall or not, what we need to know to find out if the stably will fall, fall down or not. And I'm not sure if you thought about it, we need to know the acrylic board's weight, yeah, because here, this, the weight of this piece is, is, in the, is part of the balance. Eh? So, those are the scales that I use in textbooks. Normally, the textbooks use those, those, this type of scale. Okay? And this is my textbook, <laughs> as you see. And when you go to the, the literature, um, People uh, about equations and scale, okay? And we, we read some articles, and they are saying that the scales in 
they are not in the, the market anymore, but because the idea is very, very easy, the kids can get the idea, and, and it's my, uh, um, I, I worked with this many, many times, it, and of course they can, they can grasp the idea of the scale, what's the, what's the balance, what's for the balance. So that's why those kinds of explorations are here, okay? But in equations there are some topics that they are putting there. For example, we don't play with uh, negative numbers, for example. So it's hard to represent negative numbers. So it's hard to represent negative numbers, okay? So our idea was to explore those uh, uh, scales and go to equations from there. And this is the model that we used a lot. And uh, I'm, I will talk about something here, the, the, the project I'm working on. The thing is, we, uh, I, I work with teachers, and they, they are in the countryside of the, a very small town. And uh, I, am, I ask them, what do you want? Because they are teaching in their very tough situation. And then they ask help for some topics. And then equations of, was one of the topics, OK? So, uh, we did those scales with very simple material. This is a piece going from brown. <clears throat> Though it, it helps to model the balance of mobiles and stabilis. It's a physics challenge, and at the same time, it helps the learning of equations. So here we have one. I built this with very simple materials, as you can see. I just bought some thing. <laughs> Do you want to show them? Yeah. Is it? Is it? I don't know if everyone can see. Uh, okay. Okay. A second. Okay. So yeah. One of the biggest challenges of creating this kind of um, scale is that the materials are they're not uh, exactly well distributed in terms of the density, right? So you have to calibrate all the time, and especially when the weather changes, it's really hard to account for the humidity and for the, for, I don't know, for, this, for the rain or whatever. And you can see that in my hand it's not that fast. <laughs> and you have different weights as well. Yeah. And also to calibrate the pieces, so it takes time to calibrate because the pieces have a, a proportion, okay? It's one, it's two, it's three, and four. And we have uh, the, the distance are the same. So it's very, very uh, sensitive, this scale, okay? So this is a challenge for, because we can use this scale, this scale with children very early stage and then with teachers as well. And I, I have long experience with this material. For example, when we give this, this kids, five years old, six years old, this kind of challenge, uh, you have to balance the scale. They, they, at the beginning, they used to, to put the same pieces here, like this, those one here, and this here, and this there, and this there. <laughs> so they have to learn the symmetry, okay? The symmetry is not like that. So it's very interesting to see the children playing with the things and solving challenges. This is another one. This is different, you know. This one, you can solve with the same materials, the same blocks. You can imitate this one, taking this, putting here. But now, it, you cannot. Uh, you have to find a way to... Because yeah, the small weights, there's not enough to do the symmetry. So you have to figure out a different way to solve. And then you start playing around with the idea of balance. Yeah. And see, we're, we're playing with those challenges without giving them any number until now, okay? This is a, an interesting uh, challenge. It's hard to believe that you can balance the two, uh, the smallest one, the biggest one. Mm. Of course, it's just a matter of position. You're, you're seeing here this challenge so. <laughs> This, uh, that's interesting because now we can uh, realize that some students, when in the beginning, seven, eight years old, 
they used to take the two and then they put randomly. And, 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 and it's difficult to, because after many tries, they, 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 they find the, the solution. But some of them, they, they put the first one in a in wherever, and then try the second one first, mm -hmm. then, 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 okay? So it's a systematic trying. So we can see that when the, 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 the kids, they are going to a very a more systematic way to try to solve the challenge. <clears throat> this is more difficult because this is very, this is more easy because it, you, you see here and here the extremes and we, when are not the extremes because this one is two and this one is three, the weight. Okay? So it's not that easy. Only a technical question. Uh, the pupil know the Ratio. The weight of, of the, the relation. The relation. No. Okay. No. Okay. no. But some of them quickly they realize that this is this is this, the, the, the proportion. Yeah. And this is another interesting challenge because if you see there is no solution for that. <laughs> because we put uh, the, the weight four, four, and four. So. It, it, you cannot, this challenge, you cannot solve this challenge. Even if you put those together here, the solution is not there, okay? And now it, it's time to give the students the numbers, the numbers of the weights, the numbers of the positions. Oh, let's see the use of the weighting scale in the project about equations, okay? Um, okay, so now we are going to a class where uh, we are presenting to the students the scale for the first time. Uh, we did this project in some schools many times. Some of those times were not exact. Some of those, those, of those projects were not that good, some were very good. A teacher used the, the idea to, to make her, her uh, uh, thesis. Uh, her master's thesis. Master's thesis, okay. So we will see here in five minutes the entire first class, okay? They will go to explore the material until they will uh, see the, 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 we gave that the end, we gave a, a sheet, a sheet, and then, then we will discuss the sheet, what is the, the purpose of the sheet, how we can go from the scale, from the exploring the scale, to the equations, okay? Mm -hmm. so.
Here is a situation, but here we are exploring some possibilities. For example, they have to solve this problem, but without using those spaces. Okay? That is the idea, that's the challenge. And uh, there are different challenges. And we use the, now we, we are using the letters, okay? So they are going to the equations without even thinking about it. And one of the things that we also discussed is that this, this could be potentially the first time that the students are, are being introduced to the idea of having letters to, to solve equations, or it can be an activity in which they are already comfortable with X, Y, or any letter, and they are enhancing or strengthening their understanding. Yeah. This situation here is odd because if you multiply C, divide 1, 2, 3, and here, at the end you you will see the situation. Because both situations are, they are very challenging for the students. The number 11 is that one here. Yeah? The 8 is minus 8. It, it hasn't the, the, the solution. When we think about the physical uh, weight, it doesn't have a solution. And here, the other one, we, we end up with 6C. Six, six, six so <laughs> the, the solution, it can be any, any weight. The solution would be the same. Okay? So from there, from this exploration, we, when we end up with uh, uh, other. we end up with a software that was built by a student, yeah. a and very this, skillful guy. So, and this is actually the reason why we are recording the presentation, so that the undergrad student can have this in his portfolio, because he. <laughs> He worked so hard in creating the software. Yeah. So, as you can see here, mm. we can make the balance. But the scale, but the thing is, if we took the number 11, number 11 let's see the number 11. Uh, 9 and 3 inches. I can put it here mm. so I hit the 9 on the kitao 9 maybe in the 1 not in the 9 So to put something here, huh? to put something in the position 3, you can see that it should be a negative number, right? Mm -hmm. But there's no physical sense to negative number here. So the solution that we found is? <laughs> How do you agree the balloons? but to find helium and balloons it would be really difficult and I assume that the changes in density would be super difficult to deal with but in the digital world you can make sense of those things because students know that balloons they go up ideally we, we still did uh, experiment this software in the classroom okay but we are ready to go there and yeah. experiment again we have to stop here because of the time yeah thank you very much <laughs>